Kev.com exclusive. Yo, it's Power 98.3, man. BootlegKev.com. We chilling here with my dude. Tech 9? Tech 9? Yeah. Hey, my, what's up, On my bro? tour bus, man. Chilling on the tour bus. Well, well hey. I ain't actually my tour bus. This is Kid Rock's first tour bus. Got D's all in the shower back there. I take a shower this, with, with Detroit symbols everywhere. I feel like this bus is bigger than the last bus I was on. Oh, I don't know, man. This you know, bus, it's like a fucking house. <laughs> I don't know, Muggs. What do you think? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whatever mug says goes. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? How was uh, this this new tour? You, I mean, shit. What was the last tour? Like six, seven months ago? Uh, Actually, what? About eight months ago, huh? Yeah. I think the last time I saw you was, I want to say, April or May in Vegas. Possibly. I mean, I've been, I've been this since then. I've been to Canada and I've been to Europe, so it all runs together, brother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the they, last major tour, though, was the one that broke the record. I think so. Yeah, and everybody's yeah. talking about it was a year ago. I'm like, I don't feel like it was a year ago. You know, some That's people are like, we haven't seen you in a year. I'm like, really? It been that long? It's been a while, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, but I'm always going, though. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? It's I'm, like nonstop to you. You know what I mean? But uh, this tour, though, is just so elite, man. You know, I hate when I'm missing the acts. You know, that's that's, that's, that's got to be tough. Seth's crew is first, and they fucking tear it down every day. You know what I mean? Um... Uh, then Ritz comes on and murders it, and then Cuddy comes on and tears it apart. Then Brother Lynch hung and Triz, and then me and Chris. It's just like the lineup is like Bananas. flawless, man. That's crazy. Yeah. Let's talk about this new project. Something else. I saw the uh, the deluxe artwork uh, <laughs> today. Uh, you know, the, the shit is kind of crazy. Yeah. In Tech Nine fashion. Yeah. A lot of people didn't agree with it. You know what I'm saying? And some of our um, people that wanted to sponsor backed out. You know? Really. Yeah, they scared of I'm I'm too extreme, Kev. That's crazy, man. I'm too, I'm too extreme, and I can't. And luckily, I got a team that's like, hey, this is what you want, you know. This is what we going with, you know. What I'm I guess saying? that's the benefit of like being the fucking man behind strange music. Totally, putting out totally, the totally, totally. You know, because my 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 whole outlook on life and everything is just super extreme, dude. You know what I mean? And it comes through in my art. And some people feel like it's going to stifle me, but, um, you know, this is how I see myself right now, Evil Brain Angel Heart, and that's the picture I dreamt, and that's what I told them to paint. And they did it. And they painted it after I, they, I, they, I went and posed for the picture, and they painted it how I dreamt it. And um, that's what I love, and that's what we're going with, and, you know, the people that are not scared are with us. You know? Now, my favorite personal album of yours was K.O.D. Ah. Okay? Um, and I know that you had said that that time of your life, it was real dark. And I think you had almost said that, like, like you didn't want to make any more music like that as far as, like, that, that mind state you were in because it was a really dark album. Oh, no, no, no. I said I wouldn't do another totally dark album. Right, right, right. I've ex I've embraced the darkness since Seepage, you know, since since that EP. And I was, was going to say, you, you put out you put out Seepage. Yeah. Now, with this album artwork, it seems like it might be, like, kind of maybe heading towards that, that vibe again? or I mean, no. It's going to always have that formula. That, that element, formula, no matter what. Know, that em element. You know what I'm saying? Of course, because my darkness is here. You know what I'm saying? And it's not nothing that I conjure up. This is what I live. It's usually caused by people around me. You know, people around me are not doing so well and make dark days or sadness. You know what I mean? So that's life, though. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? So the first part of the album is fire. You know what I'm saying? Fire, uh, water, and earth. So fire is going to be the darker shit. And the first song, oh, my God. It's, it's wild. Yeah, man. I put it like this, I worked with somebody that I thought I'd never get to work with, who I always wanted to work with musically. You know what I'm saying? And it's the first song on the album, and they're doing the hook. Oh, word. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I remember that you were supposed to work with M on all sixes and sevens, but yeah. he didn't get the record back to you in time. Which yeah. way, it was the record with, uh, wasn't it um the record that you put the Blind Fury, Blind Fury on? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I got another one for M. I haven't written yet. I'm still writing for the album. I got the beat, though. Okay. So I have to do it, like, immediately. That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah, I think that's like the one collaboration that hip hop uh, enthusiasts that appreciate both of your guys' music has been waiting for. That's crazy, man. Time. But I, I think people want us to rap together for the wrong reason. You know what I'm saying? To see who's gonna win. Seems gonna be better. Nah, I mean, I, I figure. I don't you know, care, man. Two he, he, he's the best of me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the best at what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I, like, I, I ain't looking at it like that. I'm trying to get him on something where we ain't. Well, well, I guess we're gonna go no matter what. Of course. You know what I mean? It's so. a natural competition element of hip hop. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But. Um, the song I got for him, the, the beat, is dark. 
You know what I'm saying? It's on some demented shit, so. That's dope. I can't yeah. fucking wait. Hopefully that happens. So it'll be in the fire area if, if he can get if it, it done if it in happens. time. Yeah. Um, the single that uh, has got T-Pain on a bitch, uh, breaking into colored people's houses, right? Breaking into colored houses. That's colored houses. B-I-T-C-H. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I fucked that up. Because where's the P houses. at in bitch? Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently I didn't go to school. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, in the song though, like it's something that even I've noticed, like going in, going to, to tech shows early, like when I was uh-huh. in high school and shit. It's like, like it's it, I remember, you know, Tech Nine. It was always white, a bunch of white boys and shit, you know, yeah, and ICP yeah, yeah. fans and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it seems like over the last three years, I would say three, four years. Yeah. Every tech show I get to, it's like it's just it's a more diverse crowd. More and more black people are coming. You know what I'm saying? Since the BT Cipher, since the Carter Four. You know what I'm saying? Since nigga been popping up on when I was 17 or or whatever pop for whatever know? reason yeah 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 yeah. you know what I'm saying and I, I'm with it you know what I mean because I don't want anybody to be alienated to this wonderful music and I think that everybody's supposed to be there and I'm not gonna give up on my people and that's why I'm knocking again hard like but uh, this time I'm not knocking I'm breaking into colored houses through that TV you know what that's I'm saying what's up. yeah and T-Pain helped me what do you think is the reason why your music might not have gotten to like you know the black community as much as you know it did it scared the fuck out of them look at that goddamn picture that's what i was gonna ask you think it was you think <laughs> you think maybe people were thrown off a little bit by the face paint by the imagery and all that stuff yeah then, i think i'm a fucking devil worshiper you know i came i came out in the bishop's robe everybody knows the story you know what i'm saying i can't on angelic i dressed up as an angel and i fell into hell and I dressed up put on a devil suit you can't put on a devil suit with niggas you know what I'm saying <laughs> but that's me expressing my spirituality you know what I'm saying and that's and that's what it, it means like if you accept drugs and accept all this all the ills of the world and everything shit like that the result is the beast and I put on the devil suit the, the same devil suit that was in uh, at the end of uh, Tales from the Hood you know what I'm saying and, and uh, niggas didn't feel that shit and so they left Eventually, it's you know, like... 2001, it's they left. 2002, they were gone. 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006. And a little bit after that, you know what I'm saying, niggas start tripping back in, you know what I mean? And it's like, I ain't gonna never give up on my black folk. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm extreme. Yes, I'm not the everyday run-of-the-mill nigga on the mic. You know what I'm saying? Da-da-da-da-da. And I'm not gonna be that. And I won't conform. As you can see, even though I'm breaking into colored houses on that song, the first thing I say is... Put in all the face paint I can put on, you know what I'm saying? I'm not changing for no amount of money, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do it my way, how I've been doing it. There it is. Yeah. Um, Feature-wise on this album, is there any features? I know that you're, you know, you want to keep as much of that un- un- under the wraps as possible. Is there yeah, any features you could tell us? My publicist is always like, man, you can't tell. You can't say this shit. It's gotta be a surprise. I'm like, Argh. I mean, the track list comes out what a couple weeks beforehand, anyway. Yeah, dude. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> I got some stuff on there, man. Um, with CeeLo finally did a hook for me. CeeLo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy, man. I, I'm proud of it. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. That's major. Yeah, it's another motherfucker that did a hook for me, man. On that first on song. On that first song? Oh, man. I can't tell you what it is, but uh, that's a big one. You know what I'm saying? That's a big one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they hate for me to say this, too, but I got... A song on there with the people who